Okay, put the corpses on the sofa. And ruin Ready? these couches? What about the estate sale? everybody so it's been a couple of days since one of the most horrific viewing experiences of my life <laughs> that's a little dramatic it was um nope it was pretty bad it was pretty bad uh the mist was devastating and now i know for a fact that the person to blame is frank darabont that ending <laughs> that was your own creation sir <laughs> Makes perfect sense why you got involved with The Walking Dead because sickness calls to you. I can't be mad at it though because it was a great movie. It was a great time, a fantastic piece of work. I don't know if I'll watch it again, but I, I probably could, I probably would. Tonight, we have a full 180 from that shenanigan. <laughs> I think, I hope. Tonight's movie is Clue. I am really excited for this one because I know that it is a camp classic and y'all know how I love camp the very best of melodrama and creativity combined. What's not to love? This movie came out in 1985. I know it stars Tim Curry. <laughs> and uh, from the Blazing Saddle comments, I know Madeline Kahn also makes an appearance in this movie. I know this movie is based on a board game. I've never played the adult version of this board game. My roommate bought a version of it and we played it and it was really boring and there was kind of nothing to it and then he realized that he accidentally bought the children's version so i get the gist of what it is you know there's a murderer you're trying to sleuth it out and figure out who did what where so it sounds like a great time and i'm excited for it oh deborah hill <gasps> timothy wow what i mention <laughs> definitely looks spooky on that hill Tim Curry, seriously, the face is quite pretty. I'm a fan. Why did you have the key to the gate if these dogs attack you? So does he work the property? Oh, get yourself a welcome mat. Tracking poo through the home. Grandiose. 1954. Ooh. <laughs> Is everything ready? We miss you. You have your uh, instructions. Girl. Uh, oh, I thought she was questioning whether or not she shit herself. She was checking her shoes. <laughs> everything alright, Mrs. Tyler? Dinner will be ready at 7.30. Dinner will be ready at 7.30. These rabid dogs at your door. Yes, indeed, sir. You are expecting Colonel. It is Colonel Mustard, isn't it? No, that's not my name. Tell me, sir. But tonight, you may well feel obliged to my employer for the use of an alias. I'm Wordsworth, sir. The butler. Ooh, look coming through. Do you know who I am? Only the You're Madeline Kahn. That's Mrs. White. Yes. Ugh. Lily Von Stupp always serving a look. Oh, may I introduce you? Mrs. White, this is Yvette, the maid. I see you know each other. Oh. What's y'all's relationship? Because <laughs> that maid is a cutie. <laughs> do you really have to do all that? It's 1954. Did they just leave a woman on the side of the road? <laughs> she popped that heel, though. Thanks. Where are you going? Hill House, off Route 41. That's where I'm going. I got a letter like this. Oh my god. Oh, oh! I literally did not recognize that that was Christopher Nolan. <laughs> and this is Mrs. Peacock. How do you do? Looking great. <laughs> I must be Mr. Green. Yeah. Shit! No. Sir, no. you're a grown man. <laughs> Should be just off there. Christopher Nolan. I know everybody knows him from Back to the Future, but I still have never seen any of the Back to the Futures. That must be it. <laughs> Why is the car stopped? It's frightened. <laughs> Aw, Uncle Fester, such a gentleman. Why not the second place? Oh, never mind. <laughs> just gonna reach for a grab. Professor Plum and Miss Scarlet. Okay, girl. 
Wow. <laughs> Everybody just sitting here trying to get a look-see. <laughs> it would be hard to avert that gaze. <laughs> you would realize that nobody here is being addressed by their real name. You know. Is this book for you? Indeed, no, sir. I'm merely a humble butler. What exactly do you do? I battle, sir. Which means what? I keep everything tidy. Well, what's all this about, Butler? Now there's not a reason why. I was about to do and die. <laughs> So is this for our host? No, sir, for the seventh guest, Mr. Body. I thought Mr. Body was our host. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It is our host, Mr. Wadsworth. <laughs> Y'all are so bold to just show up at this place and start eating the food, not knowing anybody or why you're there. <laughs> they said, let me see how you do. <laughs> All right, doesn't seem poisonous. Well, I had absolutely no idea what we're doing here. Oh, what I'm doing here, what this place is about, but I am determined to enjoy myself. <laughs> it's usually my attitude. This soup's delicious, isn't it? I know who you are. Don't you tell us? How do you know who I am? I work in Washington, too. Washington? So you're a politician's wife? Yes, I, I am. So what does your husband do? Nothing. Nothing? Flies around on his back all day. Sounds like hard work to me. I don't want to sit next to the clumsy one. What is that? It, it looks like cabbage. Some kind of goo. This is one of my favorite recipes. I know, madam. Well, you're a doctor? Uh, I am, but I don't practice. So what do you do, Professor? I work for you now, the United Nations Organization. You're not going to mention the coincidence that you also live in Washington, D.C.? Have we met before? I've certainly seen you before. Anyone here not earn their living from the government one way or another? Well, of course, where is our host and why have we been brought here? And <laughs> why are we eating paper mache? Are you locking me in? I bet. Uh, <laughs> chef. May I present Mr. Body? I'm not seeing much body. Uh, you can take that away, honey. <laughs> I don't eat glue. Look, I demand to know what's going on. I believe we all received a letter. That Mr. Body will bring to an end a certain long-standing, confidential, and painful financial liability. Huh? It is signed a friend. No, thanks, sir. I just mean. Now, how did you know her name? Yeah. We know each other. Don't Leave her alone! Can I interest in you in fruit or dessert? <laughs> Can we get down to the nitty gritty? In that case, may I suggest we adjourn to the study for coffee and brandy? At which point I believe our unknown host will reveal his intentions. I'm instructed to explain to you what you all have in common with each other. Unless you would care to do the honors, Mr. Bunny? Why me? They know who I am? I don't think so. You've never identified yourself with It's a hoax. I suggest we all leave. I'm sorry, sir. You cannot leave this house. All the windows have bars. All the doors are locked. Please return to the study. You too, Mr. Body. I'm a black. <laughs> <laughs> he is going to run the property. You can't get out that way. Dogs all around. Might as well carry your ass in there and hear the explanation. I will definitely take the brandy. Ladies and gentlemen, you all have one thing in common. You're all being blackmailed. And none of you know who's blackmailing you. You were once a professor of psychiatry, specializing in helping paranoid and homicidal lunatics suffering from delusions of grandeur. Yes, yeah, so now I work for the United Nations. So your work has not changed. But you don't practice medicine <laughs> at the UN. His license to practice has been lifted. You know what doctors aren't allowed to do with their lady patients? Yeah. Well, uh. he did. Oh, oh, how disgusting. That is despicable. Are you making moral judgments, Mrs. Peacock? How then do you justify taking bribes? It's a vicious lie. Well, I am willing to believe you. I too am being blackmailed for something I didn't do. Me too, and me. Not me. You're not being blackmailed? Oh, I'm being blackmailed, all right. But I did I that shit. I'm being blackmailed for. <laughs> I run a specialized hotel and a telephone service which provide gentlemen with the company of a young lady for a short while. Oh, yeah? What's the phone number? So how did you know Colonel Mustard works in Washington? Is he one of your clients? Certainly not. Do you tell him it's not true? It's not true. Is that true? No, it's not true. Double negative. Double negative. You mean you have... Crap. That sounds like a concussion to me. In fact, the double negative has led to proof positive. I'm afraid you gave yourself away. <laughs> Mrs. White, you've been paying our friend the blackmailer ever since your husband died under, shall we say, mysterious circumstances. Oh! A <laughs> man killer. <laughs> funny. I see. That's why he was lying on his back. <laughs> well, I didn't kill him. He was deranged. He was lunatic. He had threatened to kill me in public. Why would he want to kill you in public? I think she meant he threatened in public to kill her. <laughs> what did he do for a living? Nuclear physics. What was he like? Oh. He was always a rather stupidly optimistic man. I mean, I'm afraid it came as a great shock to him when he died, but he, he was found dead at home. His head had been cut off. So had his, uh, new Damn, novel. girl. <laughs> I had been out there at the movies. Do you miss him? Well, it's a matter of life after death. Now that he's dead, 
I have a life. <laughs> Your first husband also disappeared. But that was his job. He was an illusionist. <laughs> he wasn't a very good illusionist. Not my problem. I have something to say. I work for the State Department, and I'm a homosexual. That's why you're being blackmailed? Oh, it's 54. I feel no personal shame or guilt about this. Nor should you. But I must keep it a secret or I will lose my job on security grounds. Hmm. Well. Oh, please. <laughs> the way you want to fill up every woman that walks by, you can't even sit on the couch next to this man. But fact. He don't want you. Everybody get a lick in. <laughs> What's this for? And you're just getting your prints all over it. <laughs> a noose! <laughs> they don't have that in the children's version of the game. <laughs> Leg bite. Ooh, pretty dagger. In your hands, you each have a lethal weapon. If you denounce me to the police, you will also be exposed and humiliated. But if one of you kills Wadsworth now, no one but the seven of us will. Wadsworth is like, er? He has the key to the front door, which he said would only be opened over his dead body. I suggest we take him up on that. Why would we kill him the instead of you? Avoid finding yourselves on the front pages for one of you to kill, Watch. Now. Y'all got up to. It's like we'll never know. Unless she dies too. <laughs> <laughs> um, something better not be happening to a vet. Oh, yeah, that seems fine. You're alive. No thanks to you. What do you mean? You locked me up with a mail though, you idiot. So what? the murderer is in this room. Me, we. It's what Mrs. White said in the study. One of you is the killer. I want reasoning. Yeah, just go ahead and take that evidence. <laughs> destroy that. <laughs> it's not what I intended. So you're not the butler? I'm not the butler, but I'm a butler. In fact, I was his butler. Damn, Wadsworth. Wait a minute, I, 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 I don't understand. You just needed us all here so you could thaw off suspicion from yourself <laughs> when you killed him? That's what I'd be thinking. Why don't we all just dispose of the body? When I said that I was Mr. Body's butler, this was both true and misleading. I was once his butler. My wife decided to end her life. She too is being blackmailed by this odious man who now lies dead before us. He hated my wife for the same reason that he hated all of you. Because we're good looking. He believed that you were all thoroughly un-American. <laughs> he decided to put his information to good use and make a little money out of it. What could be more American than that? And what was your role in all this? I was a victim too. At least my wife was. She had friends who were socialists. Oh. We had no money. And the price of his silence what did we work for him for nothing? We were slaves. Damn. Well, to make a long story short, by the suicide of my wife preyed on my mind. <laughs> and I resolved to put Mr. Body behind bars. The best way to do it was to get everyone face to face and then kill him. Turn him over to the police. Mom. So everything is explained. Nothing's explained. We still don't know who killed him. Why would we not just get rid of the body? Here now. <laughs> we all had the opportunity. We all had a motive. Great. Exactly. Yeah. Let's we cover it up. <laughs> No. Why would it be her? I mean, he seemed pretty terrible. I guess everybody who knew him probably wanted him dead. She's not here. How would she have snuck in that room? No! I didn't do it! Two murders? And one is undeserved. Just because her food was nasty as hell. Who would want to kill the cook? Right. You know, 
it wasn't that bad. How can you make jokes at this time? That's what I said, girl. My defense mechanism. <laughs> Me too, girl. You next. Come on, there is only one admitted killer here, and it's certainly not me, it is her. Five admitted nothing. No, she did not. How many husbands have you had? Who cares? Yours. Five. Five. Yes, just five. Husbands should be like Kleenex. Soft, strong, and disposable. Ah. They lure men to their deaths like a spider with flies. Flies are women are most vulnerable. I'm more like a siren on the cliffs. Oh, this is so unfortunate. Look, what, what, the body's gone. Huh? Oh. I just dropped her where she lay. Those are the negatives to which Kendall must have earlier referred. Oh my god. Hmm, very pretty. Would you like to see these events? They might shock you. No, merci. I am a lady. Oh, now he's bloody. Just terrible. Just so disrespectful. No, he's dead. How? She's going to faint. Sorry, cancer. Sorry. Well, he's certainly dead now. Why would he know I want to kill him twice? Seems so unnecessary. <laughs> Stick, even get up there. Okay, put the corpses on the sofa. And ruin these couches? What about the estate sale? But why? Now, Mr. Body. Mr. Body. <laughs> it's hilarious now. <laughs> now. Get up. We still have all these weapons. Let's put them all in this cupboard and lock it. There's a homicidal maniac about it. What if you're the homicidal maniac, Dr. Frank Furter? What if you're the murderer? I'm not. But what if you are? If I got it, I know I'm safe. We'll throw it away. Good idea. Wonderful. Right away. Brilliant. That'll do it. Who was that? My car broke down out here, and I was wondering if I could use your phone. Are you the killer? Just a moment. Where'd you come from? I don't trust you. We can't let him in. We have two dead bodies. Sir, if you make it out of this alive, I will be shocked. <laughs> Just checking. Everything all right? Yep, yeah, two corpses, everything's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I want a straight answer. Is there someone else or isn't there? Yes. No. No. No, there is or no, there isn't. Yes. Please! <laughs> Don't you think we should get that man out of the house before he finds out what's been going on here? Yes. Yeah. Mr. Page Master? The police will be here by then, and there are two dead bodies in the study. Stop shouting, bitch! I suggest we handle this in proper military fashion. We split up and search the house. We have very little We're gonna end up with a third body on our hands. Pairs, yes. We split up into pairs, whichever one of us is left, where the killer might get killed. Yes. Then we would have discovered who the murderer is. But the other half of the pair would be dead. <laughs> Oh, damn. Oh, neither do I, but there must be switches somewhere. 
Don't come in with you. No. No. Girl, you can handle yourself. <laughs> your peacock cock cock damn it <laughs> can we please burn the evidence of our other misdeeds at least <laughs> thank you <laughs> that's what i'm thinking at least a murder i can say i don't know who did it and we all had motive we can't all go down for the murder <laughs> but these other things i don't need a record of that somebody got that key too i'm a little nervous <gasps> in this big house the lounge. All these secret doors and stuff. Very knives out. Well, I guess knives out is very clue. One of them is my old boss from Okay, it has to be somebody that knows the house though. They just have this little Italian restaurant in the house. What is this place? <gasps> this house. Why are there so many secret passages? Is this a prohibition era home? Why did it take you so long to see the body? <laughs> You're trapped in there with it. Looking guilty as hell. <laughs> Chaos and mayhem. Oh, it's a Thorberry. <gasps> with your body? This house is old and expensive, babe. It's probably solid oak. Oh my god, he fit! I've been shot. Oh! We'll get you out! Yvette, move! Oh, who is it? I can't take any more scares. You made it though. We found him together. We have three bodies on our hands, y'all. What the fuck are we gonna do? Is that the same gun? She reminds me so much of Susan Sarandon. Good evening, sir. Yes. <laughs> I found an abandoned car down near the gates of this house. Did the driver come in here for any help? No. 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 Well, actually, yes. No. We all already said no, bitch. recognize her. You all seem to be very anxious about something. I guess the chandelier fell down or may kill us. Would you like to come this way? <laughs> Once and for all. Somebody will give him a lift, huh? Oh, 
Oh, we'll, we'll, we'll get him a car. A long black car. <laughs> a hearse. May I use your phone now? Certainly. I'm out of time. Only 15 minutes before the police come. The police already came. <laughs> <laughs> Stop looking, honestly. <laughs> like, this is none of my business. And I'm gonna leave it. What? Another secret passage? I wonder where this one goes. Well, let's find out. No, let's not. Wow. The house is amazing, though. <laughs> the killer is loosed. the lead pipe. Hello? And what a different weapon for each victim. Y'all, how are we to explain five bodies? separate traumas. <laughs> Me back got noosed. And everybody's just like, ah. <laughs> Another one. But this cop, y'all, this is the worst case. How are we supposed to explain this shit? Two murders. If we're counting. Neither of them shot. Everybody, Everybody picking up the murder weapons. Out. The murder must have run out. Oh, right, six. Three murders. Six altogether. Right. <laughs> this is getting serious. Getting. We should have disposed of the first body and all went home. Very well. I know who did it. You do? You. And furthermore, I'm going to tell you how it was all done. I shall need to take you through the events of the evening step by step. At the start of the evening, Yvette was here by herself. Okay. Then I hurried across to the kitchen. And the cop was in here alive. Shouting <laughs> alive. Fabulous, actually. And I noticed that Mrs. White and Yvette flinched. Yeah. Then there was a rumble of thunder and a crash of lightning. And to make a long story short, Too late. one by one you all arrived. Ah. We all revealed we'd all received a letter. And you'd had a letter, and you'd had a letter, and you'd had a letter. Yeah. <laughs> we get out, bro. And you all opened your presents. Somebody switch out the lights. The murderer. <laughs> Reenactment. Oh God, she had to get slapped twice in one night. I had to stop her screaming. We all rushed up. One of us wasn't here. Nah. Hey. No. No. Who wasn't here? Was I didn't notice. I should have been trying to find the murderer, but I have not been. <laughs> one of us should have stayed in the study, picked up the dagger, run down the hall, down the court. We might have seen him running back. Not if they use this secret. The trap package. door. But how did they know the house? What? How did you know? This house belongs to a friend of mine I've known all along. So you could be the murderer. Right. Don't be ridiculous. If I was the murderer, why would I reveal to you how I did it? To throw us off your scent? Why was the cook murdered? She had right. nothing to do with Mr. Body. You were all implicated in Mr. Body's dastardly blackmail. Did none of you deduce that the others were involved too? What? The cook and the vet? No. no. That's how he got all his information. Whoever knew the cook was involved killed her? Yes. But you're the only one who knew that. I know that the cook had worked for one of you. Who? who? You recognized it back, didn't you? Don't deny it. What do you mean, don't deny it? I'm not denying anything. Another denial. <laughs> sure, I knew it that. My husband had an affair with her, but I didn't care. Uh -oh. I wasn't jealous. You knew it too, didn't you? I was hoping it was yes. you, Madeline. <laughs> this is not a good look. That's why you were so desperate to get your hands on those negatives. Photographs of you and Yvette in flagrante delicto. Don't you see? Mr. Bonnet was on the floor, pretending to be dead. 
Y'all better watch this chandelier. Uh, 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 step aside. Uh, how did it really happen? Forget this shit ever happened. <laughs> <laughs> Don't go for me. Oh, Mrs. Peacock. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. <laughs> we, are. we always get our man. Mrs. Peacock was a man? <coughs> Please, babe. Would anyone care for fruit or dessert? Oh, me. <laughs> history well, is that talk. communism is a red herring. We'll sack the bodies in the cellar, lock it, leave quietly one at a time. we will just go on blackmailing us off. Of course. Why not? Okay, you gotta go. I'll, I'll tell you why not. <gasps> good shot. Wow, really good shot. Who even knew you had that? Hate to see you go, Frankenfurter. Uh, FBI. That phone call from J. Edgar Hoover was for me. Uh I told you I didn't do it. So we all get arrested? Damn! All right, we're gonna Not cool. <laughs> I did nothing! No! But if you want to know who killed Mr. Body, I did. In the hall. With the revolver. Okay, Chief, take him away. I'm gonna go home and sleep with my wife. Oh, okay. Wow. I don't appreciate that at all. First of all, phenomenal. <laughs> So, 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 so good. I would watch that over and over and over again. That was such a good time. So many amazing performances. It actually really makes me want to watch Back to the Future too because 
Christopher Nolan was <laughs> something. <laughs> That's exactly what I needed after the mist. I loved every second of that. It was so great. Clue is gonna be one of my new favorites too. I will be watching it anytime I need to pick me up because, wow, I'm so impressed with Madeline Kahn too. I'm on the Madeline Kahn train, so there will be more. There will be more from her. I'm gonna get the actual board game Clue. <laughs> Who knows, I could be great at it. I do have a good memory. All in all, wonderful, delicious pick me up and fantastic story, fantastic time. <laughs> Y'all never disappoint with the suggestions. So keep them coming and talk to me about Clue and I will see y'all soon.